Hi, I'm Ramona Bruland with your gear tip and today we're going to talk about face wear from bandanas to balaclavas. Now the most important thing you need to remember, you don't leave the house without putting on sunscreen. At this elevation, the sun is 4% more intense every thousand feet above sea level. So if you're at 10,000 feet where we typically ski and snowboard, the sun is 40% more intense. So sunscreen, a must before you leave the house. Now, turtle fur neck warmers. They're nice and warm, they're great for cold weather. Don't worry, they're not made from turtles. It's just the name of the brand. But they're good, you can nestle your face down in them when you're on the chairlift. I find, however, if you wear them all the way up of your face, they can fog your goggles and they still sometimes leave the tip of your nose and the little triangle of your cheek here below your goggles and above the turtle fur, which can become susceptible to frostbite. How do you know if you've got frostbite? Well, your skin turns a dead white, you can't feel a thing, and then when you head inside and warm up, it turns purple. It's a really deep penetrating burn that blisters, or even worse. Now bandanas, you see a lot of kids out there these days wearing bandanas. They're actually pretty good to protect you from all the elements. Sean White, AKA Flying Tomato, snowboarding extraordinaire, Olympic medalist. He actually brought that into fashion probably about four years ago because he has really, really fair skin. He has to cover up from the elements when he's out on the mountain all day, every day. Now if you're not cool enough to wear a bandana like maybe me, go with something like the buff. I like wearing the buff because it's thin, you can breathe through it, you can tuck it up under your goggles and it doesn't fog them and there's about 20 different applications to how you can wear a buff. You can wear it as a scrunchie, a headband, wristband, leg band's pretty cool, don't forget the Kung Fu karaoke band, and then more ski industry specific applications like the balaclava, the beanie, the beanie with the ponytail hanging out, a yamaka. And my favourite, the pirates, to cover that hat hair during apres skiing. Oh, and we can't forget, of course, thanks to Survivor, the boob tube. So start with the sunscreen, folks, and then add from there. I'm Ramona Bruland, and that was your face wear gear tip of the day.